Inside thermal flow meters are two temperature sensors protruding into the measuring tube. They're known as PT100 resistance thermometers. One of these temperature sensors measures the actual gas temperature as a reference, regardless of the flow velocity. The second temperature sensor is heated constantly via electrical energy, so that a predefined temperature difference is maintained between the two sensors. For example, 10 degrees. If there is no flow, the differential temperature between the two sensors does not change. As soon as the fluid begins to flow in the measuring tube, heat is drawn from the heated temperature sensor via the gas flowing past. The heat then is carried off by the flow. The corresponding cooling effect is measured and compensated immediately by adding more heating current. As a result, the target temperature difference is continuously maintained. The heating current required to maintain the temperature difference is proportional to the cooling effect and therefore is a direct measure for the mass flow in the pipe.